Hey, St. Andrew folks, good to be with you all uh, on this Thursday evening as we have a devotion together on Facebook every Thursday night. I, a few years ago, uh, took an inventory called the Strengths Finder. Maybe you have had the opportunity to do something like this. Uh, it's really great, uh, and I can probably rattle for you the five top strengths of mine, and you could exchange yours as well. Uh, but one of the things that I remember most about the training was that it was an invitation to lead and to be and to act out of the strengths that we have. Rather than focusing on all of those areas for improvement, <laughs> I don't know if like you, you remember on your report card exactly all of those areas that they highlighted to say, these are the places where you could improve. I'm sure it's no surprise to you that uh, talking in class was one that came off, uh, came up fairly frequently for me on those report cards. Um, but there's really something a lot deeper in this invitation to lead, to be, to live our lives out of our strengths rather than out of our weaknesses. The invitation of this course that I took said, surround yourself with people who have different strengths because the places where you don't tend to, uh, where, where you might have some areas for growth or improvement, other people have strengths and they can, they can lean in. And you don't have to worry about bringing those up, up to the same level, more you can do the things that you're best at. Uh, in a church, a new event the other day, uh, I got to see two people doing their best thing together. And I just took a moment to just really celebrate. We were on this webinar leading uh, 60 congregations through stewardship in a box. And I looked at the two presenters, very different styles, very different ways of, of leading and, and sharing uh, the content that they had, had prepared. But they were each doing it to the best of their ability and out of their strengths. And there's just something truly amazing about witnessing that. So my invitation is for you to think about the areas that you have strengths in. Don't spend any time listing those areas of improvement that you have, have seen on your report card or your, um, your improvement sheets at your employment place, but lean into those strengths. Take a minute and list three or four of them. What are the things that you can do best that the people around you say, whoa, look at how you can do that. If it's been a while since someone has said something like that to you, take a moment and think about those things that, that you do, that you are grateful for, that you are proud of, and write them down, two or three. Then the next invitation is this. God created all of us with gifts, with things that we can do and only we can do. I really believe this. It says in the Bible that we're created in the image of God. Pastor Lily Erdolph often mentions that we're created just a little lower than the angels. God created human beings, you and me, and our siblings here on this planet with all sorts of gifts to share. And perhaps by leading into those strengths, by leaning into those strengths, perhaps we'll surround ourselves with people who can help lead as well. So may you tonight list those strengths and may you tomorrow head into a day where you celebrate the strengths that God has given you and you lead or lean or call yourself into living with those strengths more often. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.